What's up? This is Ray. Welcome back. Hey, today we're going to be checking out a travel tripod. I got a lot of tripods. So when Sino Photo reached out to me and asked me would I feature this on the channel, I kind of wondered what else can I say about tripods. But when I looked at this, I realized it's not like the one I have, the KNF, which I love. It's smaller, it's lighter, um, takes up less space, and it's something that I could put on a backpack or in a suitcase. Uh, so we're going to be checking out this Sino Photo tripod. It's 55.9 inches long and it has some features that you may need, uh, especially if you're upgrading from the typical uh, beginner kit tripod. So if you're curious, stick around. We're going to be checking this out. All right, so the first thing I want to show you um, about this tripod that's even kind of extreme is um, most tripods have three leg sections or three extensions. Um, my KNF concept has four extensions this one has five <laughs> you would think it would be extremely tall though but each leg section isn't very long so that's what that's what makes it close down in a smaller space one thing I like about these kind of tripods is although there's all these different um, tightening sections you can loosen them all at the same time like this by gripping them all and then you can pull them all out and you can also tighten them the same way so you you, you think it would take forever to set this up, but it's actually a little quicker than you would think. Um, the way you lock each leg in place, there's two settings. Um, there's a normal one here, and you lift up this tab right here, raise it, and close it on whichever section you want to stop it at. So what I would like to see, though, is if there was a third section so you can make the tripod perfectly horizontal like this, but um, it doesn't have that. But what you can do if you want to make it lower is you can lower the, the center column, of course. Okay, so what makes this tripod useful is, you see this center column? It looks normal like any other uh, tripod. There's actually an inner part to it. It telescopes also. This, this knob at the top, you can raise it even a little higher. So that's, that's one good thing about it. That's what makes it versatile in a travel situation. Even though it, it fits in a small space, um, it can kind of do a lot. It can't reach as tall as my eye level, um, but it's that's not really necessary in a travel situation. Um, another thing it has that a lot of good tripods have is this um, clip on the bottom where you can attach weight uh, to stabilize it, especially in a windy circumstance. Um, the ball head, um, the ball head is going to be very useful. Um, it's it's a standard ball head like like every other one. Um, it has the big knob here to adjust the setting and it has the small knob here to adjust the pan uh, friction. Um, what else is good is it's an Arca Swiss plate. So if you have an Arca Swiss plate, you can, you can just use what you have as well. It does come with one as well, but um, fortunately it doesn't have some kind of uh, proprietary connection. Um, it also has bubble levels like a lot of good tripods have. It has this horizontal one here and one here also. One thing I'm realizing is a lot of these companies, um, these Amazon companies are really getting better at the quality of stuff. Look at this bag that it comes in. It's a padded bag um, with a handle and drawstring top. It even comes, this looks exactly like a golf uh, club protector. Uh, this can fit over the ball head uh, to protect it as well and protect it from scratching other things. So that's that's something they kind of didn't have to include, but they did. And uh, it's padded also, and that's really cool. Oh, one more thing it comes with is um, a replacement tool set. Um, these are some plastic parts that would fit inside the legs um, for when you tighten them. I'm not sure when you would ever have to replace that, um, but it's a good thing that they included it as well. Um, it even comes with, it looks like two Allen keys. Yeah, two Allen keys to tighten and loosen the legs. And, uh, and there's also this one large screw in the middle. The purpose of this screw is what's interesting is looking at this tripod, you would never know, but it can also become a monopod. One of these legs will unscrew, um, as you can see right here. So what the way you would do it is you'd put this large screw into the top here. And from there, you would unscrew the, the ball head and put that in there. Yeah, so it's a very versatile tripod. It's something you could do a lot with. 
Hey, check this out. I'm going to show you a feature a lot of these style tripods have that a lot of people don't. Either they don't know or they don't use. But um, you can actually mount it upside down. And what I mean is if you unscrew the bottom of the column, you could insert it from the bottom. And then you can attach the camera here. That's if you need to get a very low shot. Uh, the only downside really is um, it doesn't articulate all the way back to vertical when it's down here. So you want to go in your camera menu or your photo editor menu and of course flip the photo uh, upside down. But um, the more you look at the modular features of it, the more you can come up with all different kind of ways to use it if necessary. All right, so that's the deal with the Sino Photo Travel Tripod and the exact model uh, name for this is M2522 and uh, it's about $58.96 on the Amazon store for them right now and that's what I like when I started this channel I wanted to highlight quality but affordable camera gear especially for people starting out and this is a perfect example so if you have any questions feel free to leave them below and keep in mind though no matter what tripod you use to uh, create your images until next time as always keep it real <laughs>